It's your girl Amber and we are back with another video. Today is Vlogmas Day 14, December 14th, 2020. I know <clears throat> I'm super far behind on my Vlogmas. It's been crazy weekend, you guys. It snowed over the weekend, so we went sledding. I took the time to put the camera down and spend a lot of time with my kids over the weekend. We are going to be doing gingerbread houses today, so I'll probably put that vlog. I'll probably insert that with this Vlogmas as well as we are going to go get some stocking stuffers today. Um, <clears throat> so I went to Target to get some stocking stuffers and it was totally a dud. There was no stocking stuffers at Walmart or at Target. They got that little section, but that just, it just didn't work for me at Target. So I'm going to go to the dollar store and maybe back to Walmart. I did order some stuff off of Amazon that I'm going to put in their stockings, like some fidget spinners, but I have yet to receive those. So yeah, so I'm actually getting out right now to run some quick errands and then I will check back in with you guys here in a little bit. All right, you guys, so we have officially made it to the dollar store. I'm gonna run in the dollar store and look around to see if there's anything I can put in their stockings. Um, Cause I I don't know if I've said this before, but the stockings are kind of hit or miss with my kids. Honestly, do kids really care what's in their stocking? Probably not. Do they know what's probably gonna be in their stocking the same thing every year? Probably yes. My kids usually normally always get toothbrushes, new toothbrushes, um, candy, little things here and there. But my kids don't get like a whole bunch of extreme stuff in their stocking because my kids just don't even like they'll pick up their stocking, dump it all out. And then that's it. That's all. They don't really care to go on any further with their stocking if there's nothing really relevant in there for them. So I, like I said, I'm going to go into the dollar store to look around to see if they got anything like little I could put in their stocking. And then, yeah, from there, um, like I said before, Target was a total bust um, in your local Target if they have the little dollar, two dollar, three dollar section. Mine did not have a thing in it for boys. Like, they had a whole bunch of girl stuff, like, just girl stuff. So, if you have a girl, it's probably a good place for you. If you have a boy, complete bust. There is nothing there for boys. Um, They have a lot of adult stuff there as well. Not anything that my kids would actually enjoy. So, yeah, we're going to run into the dollar store to see if they have anything decent in the dollar store I could put in their stockings. And then, um, like I said, later on, I will be doing a what's in their stocking and give you guys that video of what I'm putting in their stocking. If you haven't already checked out my last year, what was in my kids' stocking, I will leave it in the description below. So that way, if you need some ideas of what I did last year for their stocking, it will be in the description below. Sorry if I look super tired, you guys. I didn't get much sleep last night. The baby is teething and he is super cranky. So I didn't get much sleep at all last night. So if I look super tired, I do apologize. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go into the dollar store, see what they got, and I will catch up with you guys here in a little bit. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Amber, and we are back with another video. Now, this is actually going to be combined with Vlogmas Day 14, because today is December 15th of 2020, and we are doing Vlogmas Day 15 combined with Vlogmas Day 14, because I didn't get a chance to film my What's in My Kids' is Stocking Stuffer on the 14th. So today, we are actually filming on the 15th, and that's because I had to get one last thing to put in their stocking um, besides the candy. I am putting candy in my kids' stocking, but I actually do not have it in this pile due to the fact that I do not want the candy to go spoiled or anything like that. So I am going to keep the candy out to the last minute. So yes, uh, I am putting candy in my kids' stocking, but like I said, that will be a last minute gift to put in there or a last minute treat to put in there. So I'm not getting it right away. So we are going to start off. Um, we're going to start with what's in my kids' stocking. Like I said, this is Vlogmas Day 15 and here we go. Now, um, all these items are basically the same. You're going to see probably three of the same items. I do have four children, but my youngest baby, he probably, um, he will have a stocking up obviously, but I'm probably going to put the little, um, I'll insert a picture right here, the little cheese puffs, a can of cheese puffs in his stocking and, um, probably a little toy in there. I haven't really got anything for him because, you know, he isn't really going to notice the difference, but I'll probably put some cheese puffs in there because he does love his little, uh, crunchy little chip cheese puffs and um a little toy in there nothing too major nothing all that but we're gonna go ahead and get started like i said a lot of these um are actually the same due to the fact that once one kid has it they all kind of have to have it if one kid wants it then 
the other kid gets it and it's just a hot mess so i mean if you guys have kids of the same gender or if you don't have kids of the same gender but kind of all in the same age range or not even in the same age range they just all are obsessed with having what their other sibling has then here we go so we're going to start off with the bigger items that are going into the stocking um posters i did get my kids each their own poster to hang up um now my older son my older son ten, my 10 year old son um he actually has his own room so he you know won't have to share his wall um but i got him a Naruto poster i believe I got these posters from Five Below, yes. So he has the Naruto poster. He is becoming obsessed with Naruto. So he got the Naruto one. Uh, now my two-year-old, about to be three-year-old, in March 1st, he got the Spider-Man poster because he is more obsessed with Spider-Man. And my six-year-old got the, I believe this is Minecraft. Yeah, this is a Minecraft poster. He likes playing Minecraft on the PlayStation, so he got the Minecraft poster. Again, that came from Five Below. And then, of course, they all got a toothbrush because I do put toothbrush, I do put new toothbrushes in their stocking every single year. Um, and my kids, they like the electric toothbrush, but like, let's be real, I just ain't got the time to be buying $20, $30 worth of toothbrushes and electric toothbrushes. I'm not going to do that. So my older son just got a regular toothbrush. And my two younger kids, my six-year-old and my three-year-old got um, these little toothbrushes. It does say for three plus because it's extra soft. And my um, six-year-old does have little small baby teeth. So I wanted to make sure to get him a toothbrush that would fit his mouth size. And then my three, about to be three-year-old obviously has like a little small mouth. So um, I'm going to take it out. Obviously it came in a pack, but um, these pink ones and purple ones, Probably won't use, but there is a blue, orange, and green one in here that I can use to put in their stocking. So then next, um, I got them all a bubble. On here it says bubble, uh, bubble blowing bubble bath with bubble wands. So I don't know if these are technically for the bath. I don't know why it would say bath, but it came with a little um, fun little game here to play. So when they take the wrapper off, they can play this little basketball game. Again, it says cotton candy scented. Um, so I got cotton candy scented, there is a cherry scented, and there is a bubblegum scented. These all came from Walmart in the clearance section, I believe, but I'm noticing one of these actually doesn't have the little basketball in it, so that kind of, okay, so one's a soccer ball, one's a basketball, one's supposed to be a football, but, oh, the football's stuck, never mind, it works, false alarm. So this one's, <laughs> this one's a football um one's a basketball and one is a soccer ball so yeah so they'll each get one of those and then i did go and get each of them their own nerf guns so i will be taking these out of the package to put these in their stockings um but they all got one and they didn't i was gonna get all three of them the same one but i figured i'd get one different for my older son so that way he knows the difference so that way he knows which one's technically his the on, these were the only th uh, two that they had at the store. They may have had more. I didn't really go into detail to go look. But these were like all right in the middle section at Walmart. So I just grabbed these. So these two will go to my six and two year old. And this one will go to my older son. So that way he knows that this one is specifically his. And if one of my two year old or my six year old happens to, you know, if they both happen to be on the floor at the same time, they won't know which one's which because they both look the same. So yeah. That is another thing. Um, I did get this for my uh, two-year-old because he is technically the only one that really takes baths anymore. So I decided to get him one of these. The fizzy tub colors changes your tub color. Uh, I know he enjoys uh, like bubble bath that's different colors. So I got him these that just changes colors. I believe this was in the, the little dollar section at Walmart. Um, I don't really remember. Anyways, so then I got them these slinkies. I got three, of course. Um, I got these from the dollar store. And they, I don't believe they had any different colors than these ones, just the rainbow color. So I got all three of them one because, like I said, if one has one, the other has to have one, and then the other has to have one because they all feel like, you know, they feel neglected apparently. And last but not least, I did get them some fidget spinners. Now, I did get these um, from a local store here where I live. It's a guy, he owns his own business, and he actually um, 
gave these to me for free so i was really thankful he actually gave me like six of them for free and you cannot find these at your local stores well here where i live i cannot find these at my local stores i had looked looked at the dollar stores walmart's I can't find them. So I was actually thankful that he gave me these for free and they actually light up. So I know my kids will definitely be excited to have some of these because, you know, they haven't had one in a long time. When they first came out, they had like a couple. Now you can't find them anywhere. And I was going to order them from Amazon, but thankfully he was able to hook me up and give me a few of them um, for my kids. So yeah, super excited to put these in their stocking so they can enjoy those. And that is about it. Like I said, um, the other stuff that'll go on their stocking is just candy. And I'm not getting that until we get closer to um, around that time. I'm going to go ahead and head out. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button. So that way you don't miss out on any future videos. And I do want to thank you for returning, for being a subscriber. I definitely always appreciate your love and support here in the AD family. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.